Hi, Stefan Svartling here. In this video, I will talk about a really cool thing. You can make your iPhone into a camera and record directly into your Mac SSDs using a really cool plugin for OBS Studio. So let's begin. So the plugin I am talking about is called DroidCam and that plugin is very easy to install on your Mac or PC and then buy the app on the App Store for your Android phone or iPhone. Uh, I suggest that you really buy it because then you have a lot more features and better quality but if you prefer the free version you can use it but with a, a watermark on from DroidCam. So I prefer that you buy it. But uh, let's start with uh, going to my web browser to show you the web page where you can download the plugin for your computer and doing a lot more stuff. So we go into the web page here. Here you can see DroidCam OBS. That is the version you should install on your Windows PC or Mac. And as you can see here, down here, here we have the plugin to install on your Mac in my case. And up here you have links to the App Store to buy it for either Android or mm, uh, your iPhone or iPad. So from here you should download the latest version is my recommendation by just clicking here. Then you choose which operating system you have, Windows, Linux or Mac and download the version for your computer. That is how easy it is and from the download location on your computer you install it. I will not show how to install it for your computer because it's very easy. It's the same thing installing any app on your Mac so just install it. I have already done that. I will not mess with my installation so I will not show that but install that on your computer and uh, you should have OBS Studio closed when installing it and then after that open OBS Studio again. So if we now jump to my table cam that by the way uses OBS Droid Cam from the same page. I uh, bought the app so let's go to the table camera. Here we have an iPhone where I have the Droid Cam installed as you can see here. So to do that you go into the App Store and search for Droid Cam like so. Then you see the Droid Cam Web Canon OBS camera. And here you see the DroidCam webcam OBS camera. And this is the app you should install. And as I say, uh, you should definitely buy this. It's not so expensive. It costs 149 Swedish crowns. That's not so much, I think. It's definitely worth it. So after doing that, you just click open. And then you have the app here. When you have bought it, you have a lot more features. You can do auto dim screen, you have noise cancellation if you want. And the good thing with this app is that you can use both audio and video. So you can record your voice with this, the iPhone microphone. So you can record that. So you can use this, for example, as a portable camera that I will use my iPhone 13 Pro Max for and record your voice and video. Uh, when you are walking around in the room or in your studio or whatsoever. I have set to very high because this phone can handle that. You have to check your hardware if that is possible on your, but uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max is an excellent phone with very high performance. So very high is more than enough for this phone. You can choose front or back or auto. I've chosen back on this one. Camera lens, you can decide wide angle, telephoto or default. I have default on this one. Continuous autofocus is something you should put on because then the, the camera will uh, focus all the time if you have it nearer like this or lower like this. Then it will always do some autofocus. Limit FPS, 
I will not do that because then you don't get 30 FPS or 60 FPS or whatsoever. You, have, you get less FPS. So here I have chosen 60 FPS, but maybe your hardware will not support that. So maybe you need to lower this. So you will check how much this phone can handle. Uh, then remember camera parameters is important because then it will remember all your settings. And then you have to give it a name iPhone 13 Pro Max is the name for this and you can choose a zoom speed but I have default 1x there. So after that you have actually done what you can on the phone. Now we will go into my uh, desktop cam because now we will install, we will add, we will add a new camera in my OBS setting as you can see here. Here is my OBS. Let's move it a bit so we can see what I am doing and do it a bit bigger maybe like this so you can see what I'm doing. So by adding a camera, this camera, we will need to either do a new scene or we can do a new source. So for example, I can add a source on this scene by just clicking the plus button to add a source. And then we should choose Droid Cam OBS. That's the name of the app you bought from the App Store. And here we should give it a name. And uh, I will call this Portable Cam. Portable Cam, because it will be my portable cam uh, like this. From here, you can do some settings, how big the resolution should be. I always do 120,080. Here we can choose the video format it should record. I always choose OVS, OVC H264. Uh, here you should choose use Wi-Fi IP. And down here, you should add that IP you see in uh, the top of the app when started, as you can see, the Wi-Fi IP. If you have connected this with a USB cable to your Mac, then you will have a USB IP there instead that you should add. Uh, I can recommend that if you will have it on your table all the time, but this will be a portable, so portable camera. So I will use the Wi-Fi IP here. So we go back to the desktop camera. So now I will add that IP here. So 192.168.86.120 and the port should be 4747 and it is there. Now I will add also audio because I want to record audio on the iPhone itself. Otherwise I recommend you to not enable audio because that will be much less strain on your CPU on your iPhone. So if you have an older iPhone, I recommend to enable audio off. So deactivate when not showing. You can turn that on maybe because this is a portable camera, but I will not do that. And here we have allow H264 hardware acceleration. That's awesome. So that should be on. So now we have done everything we can. Now we can activate. Click on activate, not OK, utan you should click on activate. Like so. Now we have picture. So now we can click OK. Now I can use this window and have that in my scene. Uh, we can do some photo of uh, my <laughs> AirPods Max, for example. Here we have now an excellent camera to use as a portable camera. And I can actually uh, raise me up now and go with this camera around in this room that I am in. So I can still record because I have the audio from my iPhone. As you can see, I have the audio. If you watch closely, I have the audio from my iPhone also recorded. So now I can do whatsoever I can go around in my home in recording videos with this portable camera. 
can still record audio in it. So that's awesome, I think. Really, really awesome. So I can actually record video with this camera and everything is recorded in OBS Studio and everything is in total sync and everything is stored on an SSD drive. So this is awesome. At least for me, I think it's great to have such camera. So now this was just an example. So I delete that camera again, but that is, that is how easy it is to add a camera, an iPhone as a camera for your Mac setup as a Mac camera with excellent quality and you can have it recording videos all the time. So yeah, I have actually three cameras now in my setup here in the studio. Uh, one Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus that records my face, my face cam. I have an iPhone XS Max that records my table, as you saw. And I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max as a portable camera. So I have three cameras. I have bought that up for both Android and iOS. So I have it on all three. That's awesome. And another thing I didn't show you is that you also have some controls. When you have bought this up, you have some manual controls to do. Uh, like so, you see here, I can switch camera. I can do back and front, I can do flash, I can do white balance, auto white balance and uh, ex exposure and zooming. That's also good. You can zoom the camera. Awesome to have. So this is an excellent app to buy and really easy to install on your computer. So I can highly, highly recommend this because with this app, you have everything you need. You have an easy plugin for OBS Studio. You can easily record everything you want. So I can highly recommend it. It's worth every money actually. So this is my setup at the moment and it will change because I have recently done this. So please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.